ACTT's accreditation process is designed to evaluate the standard of academic offerings of educational institutions. This process also ensures that programs meet the needs of the students, employers, and all stakeholders. In doing so, the accreditation process endorses both the quality of an institution as well as the graduates of an accredited institution. As such, employers can confidently employ graduates of an accredited institution and expect distinctive performance and cutting edge leadership foundation. In April 2011, institutional accreditation was granted to three higher education institutions in Trinidad and Tobago. The College of Science, Technology, and Applied Arts of Trinidad and Tobago, the University of Trinidad and Tobago, and the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus. I can now proudly add at a Lockjack Graduate School of Business as the fourth institution to be conferred institutional accreditation to this list of distinguished institutions. Congratulations to Arthur Lockjar, <laughs> Graduate School of Business. Uh, it gives me a tremendous pleasure as chairman of the board of Arthur Lockjar Graduate School of Business and principal of the St. Augustine campus of the UWI to express my congratulations to the School of Business for the award of institutional accreditation by the ACTT. Today is a truly momentous day for all of us, and it is testimony of the quality and excellence in service that the Arthur Lockjock Graduate School of Business provides to all of its stakeholders. It also demonstrates the commitment of the UWI Arthur Lockjock Graduate School of Business to producing business professionals and to advance private sector development in Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean. We are very, very proud of this accomplishment. This was done by the staff, by the faculty of the School of Business. It is their achievement, led by, by a team of professionals, by Kamla Mongal, by Jaidaya Maharaj, and as well by the team of faculty and structures that basically generated all this documentation and were responsible to in practice install the processes, practices, and routines that led us to be here. ACTT and this accreditation is not in the past. It's present and it's going to be present. It's going to be present in the short in the medium the and in the long the term. I wish to extend my congratulations to the chairman, board of directors, executive director, staff, faculty, students, and stakeholders of the Arthur Lockjaw Graduate School of Business, UWI, on the attainment of fully accredited institutional status. It is indeed a great achievement and signals the extent to which you have grown, as Mr. Lockjaw indicated, in the past two decades, 21, 22 years. I'm always reminded that to whom much has been given, much is desired. As I sat there, I recall that what is going to be historic about this function this evening, and in the very many years when we, we recall this evening, on this very historic day, we'll also recognize that this was done in the year of the 50th anniversary of our independence of Trinidad Tobago. But the things that are closest to us, we take most for granted. We take the Lockjack for granted. We take the Ahmad for granted. We take the Sabgas for granted. I am asking you to consider why don't we offer these people, before they leave us with that institutional memory, why don't we offer them associate professorship of this prestigious business school so that we have local content determining the local future of Trinidad and Tobago. I want to recommend that strongly. It's not only about case studies from Ben and Jerry. You're writing your local case studies, but you have live case studies. And for example, Dr. Ali Muhammad. I remember the days when I'll be at the airport as a young man and see Mr. Gatliff going up and down trying to sell his products, or Mr. Knox, or Mr. Lockjack. I read about him in Malaysia. 
These are our icons. These are our professors of the business school who we are taking for granted. And I ask you if you agree with me, not to give me, but to give them a round of applause.